Let's take a look at probabilities of an event or another event. So first off, there's a rule that says probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So in order to use this rule, we have to work out the right side three different probabilities so that we can work and simplify to get the or answer. So that's what we're doing. We're working out the three probabilities on the right side to be able to get the answer, the or. So the initial question is find the probability. Basically, we're trying to get red or even. Let's take a look. First off, the probability of getting red. That would be, there are 12 red marbles. And there are also 6 in there, so 12 plus 6 is 18 total marbles. And that equals 2 thirds. The probability of getting an even number. There are 6 even reds, half of them will be even, the other half are odd, and there are three even blues, so that's a total of nine evens out of the 18 in the bag, or a jar, sorry, in the jar, so that's one half. Now the probability of red and even. If you think of the sample space, of the, there are 12 reds, and of those, half of those are also even. So we have a total of 6 that are red and even out of the 18 in the jar. That would reduce to one third. So now we have the probability of the red or even, and we know that's the probability of red plus the probability of even minus the probability of red and even. And we have all these. And even though I've simplified the fractions, because we're doing an addition and subtraction, I would much rather work with the fractions that have a common denominator. So I'm going to go back to the 12 eighteenths plus the 9 eighteenths minus the 6 eighteenths. This gives us 15 eighteenths, and then reducing that 5 sixths. Okay, now if you wanted to consider the sample space, you could probably get to the 15 out of 18 that are red or even. Basically, there's the initial 12 that are red, and there's three more even ones that are blue. 12 plus 3 is 15 out of the total 18. So you could do this problem directly if you know the sample space. But again, it's really nice to know these formulas because then you don't have to think of the entire sample space. That will help on the right side problem because this 52 card deck, if you want to visualize all 52, you could do this. However, go ahead and pause the video and see if you can apply this formula to the question on the right. So you should get 4 out of 52 plus 13 out of 52 minus 1 out of 52 equaling 16 out of 52, which reduces to 4 out of 13. All right, I hope this helps.